that I've been writing for a long while now, and I haven't read it before. and asters surround me, people I meet, the effect upon me of my early life, of the weird city I live in, of the nation, the latest news, discoveries, inventions, societies, authors, old and new, my dinner, dress, associates, looks, business, compliments, dues, the sickness of one of my folks, or of myself, or ill-doing, or loss, or lack of money, or depressions, or exaltations, they come to me days and nights, and go for me again, but they are not the me myself, Walt Whitman. Totality is the mind, mine and yours, receiving all, collecting fragments for whole delight, delighting in seeing, hearing, touching, sensing, collecting this mind, chasing the illuminate universe, compulsive in delight. For good or bad, without regard or embrace or recoil, mind takes all. The mind dependent on the senses dresses the world in its image and won't admit original solitude. The human phenomena resides in the mind with the kin first drenched from the inner vertebrae ectoplasmic being flung from wound and bound to flesh armor and dreams. Exposed, surrounded, and aware, leaping on fire, baked, fried, reflections innumerable, lost within the many, woe to mine, crowded in loneliness. is only an inn. Take pity on all for mine, and its sake, create love and wonder. In constant moments, tend to the mind, fall to it, and it returns. It returns to itself, its space. Drawn out far, lingering, mind borders all space. Drawing near, it resides and reflects amid senses and reflections. Like a child flung into the world, this scattered mind trembles 
obliteration is creation. Willingness to end, willing to return, and waiting. Pools of water merge rocks to puddles, to streams, to ponds, to lakes, to rivers, to oceans, to waterfalls. Thank you.